Hooray, it's time for super silly stories with Bo, our favorite time. Where all the stories sort of kind of almost rhyme. Nearly. <gasps> Hello, everyone! Hi. The best time of the day is here! Snack time! Oh! Wait time! Well... One o'clock. No... Two o'clock. No... Three o'clock. Four o'clock. No, it's not that. Story time! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this story is all about friends working together and helping each other. It's called... The Pizza Team! I started a pizza for dinner, said Bear. But I looked for my toppings, and nothing was there. No problem, said Fox. I can fix that with ease. He darted away and came back with some peanut butter. Peanut butter? Oh, uh, well, wouldn't cheese make for a better... Peanut butter is oh, oh. good. Okay. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. <laughs> I'll help you, said Turtle, whose friends called him Tony. He fetched a container of sliced marshmallows. Really? <laughs> this is going to be an interesting pizza. But hold it, said Deer. Now, I don't mean to boss, but the pizza is missing the tomato dinosaur. Tomato dinosaur. I'm not sure that's a thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And it just... it flies on the pizza? Yeah, he's sleeping. Tomato dinosaur. Okay. Well, then everyone brought a new topping to add. They heaped up... Bananas. And chicken nuggets. Like mad. Donuts. Popcorn. Popcorn. A steam train. <gasps> a poisonous snake. Wait, what? Till at last it was loaded and ready to bake! Yes. Ah! Then Bear took it out at the sound of the bell. Ah. It was thick, it was creamy, and oh, what a smell! It, it's brown and it looks burnt. He cut it in slices, some thick and some thinner. And then uh. they all... When I got dinner from a taco truck. <sighs> That's probably the happiest ending this story could have. The end! Next time, the classic novel, War and Peace! Uh -huh. Okay, I give up. Hiya, kids! Hi! What would you all wish for if you had a wish? I wished for... My stuffed animal to come alive. Wow! Drive the Formula One car. Wow! I, I want to wish for a... I wanted to have a wish for a... Mm -hmm. a I wanted to have a wish for to buy books. Wow! Well, today's story is all about a boy who wished for a friend. It's called... The Boy Who Wished for a Friend! <clears throat> a long time ago, in a land far away, there lived a young boy who just wanted to play. Though he longed for a friend, there were no kids in town. And so on his face, he would wear a big... Pickle! Pickle! Oh, well, that's not exactly what I've got written down. Pickles! Yum. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just change that one word. Okay, okay. One morning, the boy took a walk in the park where an overgrown garden was shady and dark. A sound from the bushes was spooky and scary, but out popped a beautiful, magical puppy dog! <laughs> now, w w wait a minute. His name is Mr. Puppy with face make ice cream. Mr. Puppy Woof Face McIce Cream. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, dear. 
said the fair. Oh, Puppy Dog. You're sad, I can see. Just tell me your wishes, and I'll grant you... One thousand. Wait, 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 wait. Twelve million. That's very big. A trillion. A trillion and one? Ah, <laughs> uh, the boy answered. Thanks, but I only want one. I wish for a friend so that we can have laser battles. Are we your friend? Said the dog to the boy. This wonderful news made him jump up for tackle. An ice cream falling down the sky. Pizza! And also there's lemons falling uh, from the sky! Uh, and also okay, let's more move on. ice cream okay. and more um um okay. lasers! There's lasers! <laughs> from then on the two lived their days full of laughter and the puppy dog and the sea monster lived happily ever pancakes oh. and, oh. next time i'll be reading the classic fairy tale snow boarding this is gonna happen a lot isn't it My princess crown on for today's story, and you know what that means! You have to use the bathroom. No! No! What? Why would it mean that? I don't know. It means today's story is a princess story! Yay! It's called... Oh, now I do have to use the bathroom! <laughs> It's called The Princess's Storm. <laughs> oh, you know what? That is a tough word to find the singular possessive of. Anyway, Marie was a princess, the fairest of all. She wanted to host a magnificent ball. She'd invited her guests, and she dreamed ever since of the magical night when she danced with her Dracula. Oh, uh, well, he wasn't the first person I had in mind. She can turn herself into a bat. Yeah. And she dances with the princess. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, Dracula can be there. Anyway. On the night of the ball, she was thrilled and excited to welcome the dozens of friends she'd invited. The band of musicians then started to sing when the palace doors opened and in stepped the president. I'm the president. <laughs> the president? What's he doing here? It's the weekend. I'm the president. Blah, 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 blah. Can we get back to the princess? Her heart was so light, it was almost alarming. The music began, and she danced with... Prince Charming? Thank you! Prince Charming's horse. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> The princess declared, in joy and delight, I could dance with... A robot army. All night. Everybody do the robot blah 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 Everybody do the robot I'm the president I'm the president This party is getting awfully crowded Anyway at last it grew late and her guests goodbye. said goodbye blah, 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 blah. I thank you for coming she said with a sigh How sad that it's over but everything ends It's been lovely to see all my wonderful Anyone? No? Friends! And that's when they release the Kraken. Well, we've all been to parties like that. The end! 
Next time, the scary tale of Mary Shelley's Frank. Friday. Oh, brother. Ready for a story? Me! I am. Um, let me show you the pillow. That this is the pillow. Oh, well, that's a very nice pillow. Pillow fight? Can you do a pillow fight? Oh, I guess we could have a pillow fight. But could could you could you could you just spare some time for a story first? <laughs> yeah. Yay! Okay, this story is all about the coolest new bike. It's called... A New Ride for Andy. Oh, well, that was, uh, more dramatic than the story really needs. Anyway... I've saved enough money, said Andy. Hooray! I've got what I need, so today is the day. There's no need to wait. I know just what I'd like. So he rushed to the shop for his shiny new... Hippopotamus. Oh, boy. Hippopotamus. Uh, Hippopotamus. I don't know if a hippopotamus is really going to work in this story. <laughs> If you insist, <laughs> the the hippopotamus was loaded with extras galore, like headlights and streamers, reflectors and more. <laughs> A fancy speedometer, mirrors as well, and for safety when riding, a clear sounding cannon. I was thinking more of a bell. A cannon is a louder. Well, yes, that well, that's technically true. Cannon ball. Oh. At last, he exclaimed. Now the fun can begin. He hopped on the seat to take off for a spin. He knew he had plenty of time before dark, so he went for a ride at the neighborhood volcano. Volcano. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> then speeding like lightning, he zipped here and there. He dashed up a crocodile and sailed through the air. He met some fake aliens. Fake aliens. And then they had fun with a cross-country race, which of course Andy. Squirrels. What? Squirrels. Ah! Ah, so many squirrels. <laughs> but the sun was now setting, so homeward he sped. He ate a good morning. And soon went to bed. Ooh, this day was amazing. He sleepily sighed. Tomorrow I'll go for another great monster truck rally. <laughs> Magical fairy tale, Jack and the Beads Boxer. Here we go. I need a vacation. Hello. Hi. Have any of you ever been in really bad weather? That happened in a snowstorm. Oh. They have been in rain. Oh. Yeah. And also my favorite weather is um the weather. Oh. oh, well, this story is all about a girl who loved the weather too. It's called The Big Giant Storm. Oh, lovely. Kayla was the weather girl on Channel 35. One day she saw that heavy storms would very soon arrive. She took to local TV news, to weather sites and blogs to warn the town. Take cover now! It's raining cats and goats! And a goat! <laughs> um, and oh, oh, an axolotl and a chicken. <laughs> Not what I 
and jellyfish everywhere. Jellyfish? Oh, oh, okay, no. Uh, that's not the actual phrase. There's a saying. It's It was raining cats. And lions! Lions? I know about lions. Oh, boy. Lions eat basic uh -huh. animals like humans uh -huh. and tigers. Uh-huh. Night, uh, night lions. Night lions are the king of the night. Are they raining from the sky, too? Okay. <clears throat> it was raining pigs and a goat, an axolotl, a chicken, jellyfish everywhere, night lions, any other animals? If there were elephants there, I would be so impressed. Oh, why did I ask? She had to get to safety, too, and not just shrink and cower. She hurried up to higher ground and leapt inside. Or dessert. Four desserts. Like the ice cream on the bottom, half chocolate, half oh. vanilla, custard on the top. Oh my god, I want to eat this yes. 500 times. Okay, I think we're getting distracted here again. The jelly of this will take over. Right, right. This is awful, Kayla cried in worry and dismay. It's like no storm I've ever seen. How can I save the day? You'll just get in the car, oh. travel everywhere, and then tell them. Oh, you guys are... Stay inside! Oh. Stay inside! Right. Stay inside! And try to get their, their boxes so the jellyfish can't escape. Right. And will say, oh, um, excuse me? There's jellyfish in our yard and we need all the help we can get. Can you tell your friends? Okay! So, everyone puts all the animals into boxes? All of them! Well, I, I, I guess that would work. Good job, kids! The day had somehow all been saved by Kayla and some friends. <laughs> and now if such a storm returned... I'd like pick them all up in one hand and eat them all up. <laughs> well, it's good to know they're in safe hands. The end! Next time, we'll be going through the looking glass with Alice's adventures in Thailand! Yeah, I'm just trying to find myself. Well, we all need a gap year. Arr, kids! Hi, Noelle! Who'll be knowing why I be talking like this? Uh, you have a sore throat. No, I'm being a pirate. Oh! I is Captain Bo, the pirate. Let me hear your best R. 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 Ye be a fine crew. Today's story be a scurvy saga of skullduggery. It be called Scruffbeard's Treasure. Oh, come on, the one time I wanted a big dramatic voice for the title. Anyway, gather round while I tell ye a tale of the sea and of Scruffbeard the pirate as tough as could be. Me hearties. He shouted, It's time for a trip. So they hoisted their sails. Yar! And took off in their bouncy castle. Yar? Well, I was thinking they'd sail in a... Bounce, bounce, bounce. Arr, arr, bounce, arr, bounce, arr, bounce, 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 Oh, I suppose? So Scruffbeard set sail with his whole bearded crew. There was... Pink. Beard. Arr. Fish. Beard. Arr. Car. Beard, too. Car. Really? Car, beard? Aye, and we be staying away from Fishbeard in the midday sun, too. He be getting a bit of a pawn. With a tattered old map, they were now on a quest to dig up some gold buried deep in a fridge freezer. Hmm, this be looking tasty. Land ho! Cried the captain. The pirates all cheered! Yarr! For just off to starboard, an island exploded! Wait, the whole island? Exploded! Let's find a different island, lads. That one be looking a bit explodey. Ah, uh, so we found a, a new island, and much to their pleasure, they hadn't dug long when their shovels explode. 
you really want things to explode, don't you? <sighs> Their ship was a... It exploded. <laughs> Their hats! Explode. The, the, the sea! It exploded into a big explosion! Uh, oh. D don't, don't worry, me hearties. I've got us a new ship, you see. It's a spaceship that explodes. Oh, for the. Ah, aha, aha. Me mates, if we all carry on down this road, I have a sneaking suspicion more things might explode. Yeah. Our hunger for treasure went right to our heads. Me lads, let's become accountants instead. Arr! <laughs> Time, Sleeping Beauty as Bunny! Oh, that was a first edition! Hello, kids! Hello! What's your favorite animal? I love dinosaurs. Oh! Dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs. Oh, well, I kind of meant modern day animals, but I, uh, yeah. Sure, can you can you name a few? Um T Rex, uh -huh. Triceratops, uh -huh. Gallimimus, oh. Diplodocus, uh -huh. Amargosaurus, oh, Titanosaurus, you guys really know your Spinosaurus, Eoraptor, oh, Helosaurus, okay. uh -huh. and Ankylosaurus. Uh -huh. oh, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel lunch. Utah Raptor, Oh, I meant to tell you. This is Mr. Snuggle Whiskers Muffin Paws. He's here for today's story. It's called A Home, a home for a Stray. No scratching. No, no scratching. When Pete and Jane were playing at the park in mid July, they heard a sudden mewing from a little bush nearby. They approached it very carefully to keep from getting bitten. And hiding there behind the bush, they found the cutest Velociraptor. <laughs> oh no, we're not doing dinosaurs anymore. This should be a cute animal. Like, hint, 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 meow, hint, hint, meow, hint. Velociraptors can be cute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a whole series of films that say otherwise. It's so cuddly! <laughs> Can we keep them? Please! Oh. oh, well, okay, okay. I guess it could be a velociraptor. Yay! Yay! Ah. Okay, now, where were we? They knew she must be hungry. She was looking very lean. So they took her home to feed her, and she wolfed down milk and... Kitchen cabinets! Huh? Oh, right. Because, uh, <laughs> Velociraptor. <laughs> okay. She ate... The sofa. And... The walls. Till she was plump and puffy. She needs a name, said Jane to Pete. I know, let's call her Velociraptor Steve. Ah. Now, Velociraptor Steve was very playful. Ah. She would ah. zip around the house. Ah. Ah. They gave her toys like laser tag. Ah. Um, and a squeaky little air horn. Ah. She liked to pounce ah. on school teacher. Ah. I just wanted to pass on my knowledge. Before the day was through, she'd scratched up all the... Universe! As Velociraptors often do. But still, the children loved the way she'd snuggle in their laps. They could not resist her cuteness when she'd settled down for... Raptor dance! Raptor dance is a dance with raptors. We haven't thought this through. Ah! Scientists don't think that raptors can do dances. Oh, well, they're probably fine then. She was such a sweet companion, though she sometimes acted up. I think she'd like a friend, said Pete. 
Let's go adopt a dragon. <laughs> Unicorn. A man, man. What am I doing here? Flying monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm gonna go. Oh, no. Ice cream cake. And. Yay. Next time we're shaking things up with the catcher in the rhinoceros. <laughs> Well, that just looks uncomfortable. Hello, kids! Hello! I'm so excited about the new story I've written. It's all about a knight and a princess and bears! What? No! This one's not about bears. It's about a knight and a princess. Could it be about bears? Big scary bear! Rawr! 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 I'm a bear! Rawr! I think I can already see where this is going. Today's story is called Shrithy, the Tale of Sir Kettlecorn. Hey, nonny, 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 nom, nom, nom. <clears throat> in England, in those merry days, where hearts were bold and bright. There lived the good Sir Kettlecorn, a brave and gallant Really there. Yep, there it is. Roar! <laughs> okay, he's a grizzly bear knight. I'm not even arguing he's a bear. You get a bear, and you get a bear, and you get a bear. Yay! Now, no more bears, okay? Uh, yes. Yeah. We promise. We promise. Upon his fine and noble steed, He'd roam from here to there, whilst singing tender ballads, for he loved a maiden bear! <laughs> I walked into that one. <laughs> the maiden loved the knight as well. Her name was Princess Alice, but her father wouldn't let them meet. He'd keep her in his bearmobile. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bearmobile? Is that even a thing? Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> Trust me, it's a thing. <laughs> but soon there came a basketball. Okay, so it's usually a dragon that comes for the princess? Basketball dragon! Uh, I'll take it. A basketball dragon came. <sighs> And dragged her, no, a bounced her to its cave. Fear not, I'm off to save her. Said Sir Kettlecorn, the bear, 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 bear. Big brown book and bear. I'm a big brown book and bear. bear. Bippity, bip, bippity. Oh, that's actually catchy. Someone should write a song. The hero bravely charged ahead. The vicious creature roared. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a noise that the dragon makes. It actually makes that sound. Okay, but do you mind doing it a little quieter? Because I think you broke your microphone. No, it actually makes... Right! The vicious creature roared. But when the princess held it back, he pierced it with his... Bear claws, bear teeth, and bear everything! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Huzzah! Exclaimed the king. You foiled the wicked beast. The two of you may marry now. We'll have a wedding. Biker rally. Well, at least it wasn't a bear. And though our story endeth now, their love just grew and grew. And they were very happy. Very happy? Okay, they were very happy. For their dreams had all come true. Until the dragon came back. Well, that's a story for another time. The end! Yay! 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 That story was so sweet, I could barely stand it. What? You guys did it? Next time, I'll be reading the classic fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood. Mower. Well, the wolf's in for a shock. Hello, kids! Hi! Hi. I've brought a special friend with me 
me today. Meet Rainbow Unicorn. Oh my goodness, I love unicorns. They're so beautiful and magical and glimmery and glittery and they can fly over rainbows and they can make great music and all. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I got carried away there. So uh, I'm sure you can guess what today's story is about. Good shot. Unicorn! No! Can't wait! I want to do it! Unicorn ride! Oh, yes! 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 A unicorn came to young Mindy McBride. I'm Sparkle. She told her. Hop on for a ride. We'll fly over mountains and wide open spaces. I'll take you to marvelous, magical... Betty, there's a horse in the sky again. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not the first place I thought of. <laughs> Let's just say they stopped there for gas or something. Mm. <laughs> now Sparkle was graceful and swift as she flew. She was... Glittery! Fluffy! And rainbowy, too! And so cute and adorable, and she gives us rainbows, and she's sparkly, and she... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then they flew on. They were thrilled as could be when they flew over mermaids who played in a rock band. I got a tail, you get a rich tail, and a whale is harder than a killer whale. Yeah! <laughs> Across the wide ocean, they soared for a while till they came to. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite part. up your trash there. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I really want to see the Unicorn Queen. Uh, uh, when the girl got to meet with the Unicorn... Bus driver. No! Uh, the Unicorn... Hairdresser. <laughs> Accountant. Professional wrestler. Opera singer. <laughs> Whatever you want, you can have it right now. It's been lovely, said Mindy, to wander in Rome. But right now, I just wish to be back in my home. But also with a princess crown, diamonds and rubies, and a palace. reading the classic novel, The Call of the Telephone! Ruth, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hmm, needs more unicorns. up as for Halloween. I'm gonna be a vampire. Oh! You have these pointy teeth and they drink blood, but I would never drink blood because it's gross. Oh! It tastes cool. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, thanks for the heads up. You know what I'm gonna be on trick-or-treat night? A goblin! Get it? Because I'll be goblin, my candy! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what are we reading? This story is called... The Calamitous Creature of Dr. Clyde. 
Prepare to hear a chilling tale to make you shake with fright. It started in a castle on a dark and stormy night. The smart but foolish Dr. Clive made up a frightful plan. I've gathered all the parts, he said, to make an eight foot sandwich. Oh. A sandwich? No! Let me break this down. He's in a lab, and he creates a monster of a sandwich! Big sandwich! Oh. Big, heavy sandwich! No. It's like this big! What the hell? Oh. Well, uh, okay. Let's see where this goes. The storm was raging. Lightning flashed! The thunder loudly cracked! It's alive! Cried Dr. Clive. The sandwich then attacked! Sandwich! No. Sandwich! Oh, this is unexpected! It thrashed around! Sandwich! And threw a... Sam! <gasps> Where did you even get that? It howled in monstrous rage! Sandwich! But the doctor drove it back with... An ant meter! <laughs> and locked it in a... Light dryer! <laughs> but late that night, the fiend escaped! Oh! Used the door! And staggered into town! The people shrieked in terror when it knocked up! Moose and stilts! Down! I was just getting the hang of that! <laughs> Whatever can this creature want? The frightened people cried! The sandwich said! Me lonely! Sandwich need a loving chocolate shake. Oh, I love milkshakes. Oh, that's my favorite food ever. Well, that would go together. My mom makes these really good ones with um frozen fruit and um leaves, and it tastes so good. But not the leaves from the tree. I think it's from plants. Yes, from plants. So back to the story. I'll make it, said the doctor, feeling touched and rather tender. He gathered his ingredients uh -huh. and mixed them in a... Don't uh, he added... Uh, mustard. Hot sauce. Nacho. Camp food. Gravel. Piano. Till it was time to pour. <laughs> Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hooray! The sandwich cried. Sandwich not lonely anymore. And soon they had a wedding. So it turned out for the best. They both were happy as could be. And so was every... Vampire! Vampire! Ghost! <laughs> monster! Mummy! Yeah. Oh, now you get monsters! Thanks. Skeleton! Goblin! Yay! And... <laughs> Thank you so much! Next time, the quirky classic, James and the Giant... Sandwich! Sandwich! I think I've created a monster! Hi, kids! Hi! Hello. Hello. Do any of you play an instrument? Yeah. 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 Oh! Wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Well, listen to this! I'm ready to read, ready to rock. Don't look now, it's story o'clock. Yoke solo! I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Today's story is called... Mr. Gran and his band, Mr. Gran and his band. That's the title, though. We're ready to go. Wow. wow! Great song! That's the best song ever! I thought my song was pretty good. Well, that's fine. I'm starting a band, said Marcellus B. Grand. It's gonna be awesome, the best in the land. The greatest musicians from near and from far will be raring to join when I play my neighbor. Uh, we should really do that games night sometime. Ah! No, 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 
it at least needs to be an instrument. Like a potato. What? B -b -b potato. 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 But, but, but how is he going to play a potato? Potato. Inexplicable potato. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> that was the funniest thing you ever done. Anyway, I like it, said Jane as she popped up the street. That melody's sweet, and I'm digging the beat. But it needs something more. You're in luck. Here it comes. Check out how it sounds when I add in my cuckoo clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. This is going to be an unusual band. Your clock sound is incendiary. Goo -goo! Musicians then came from all over the place. There was Pete on the jackhammer. And Lisa on police siren. There was Kim who played hopscotch since the day she was born. And the sound was amazing when Sam blew his nose. <laughs> they soon had their very first concert to play But we don't have a singer They cried in dismay Relax, said Marcellus I've made a great choice Matilda Lavash has a beautiful cow <laughs> Huh, needs more cowbell they dazzled the crowd when they made their debut. Oh, 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 it's awful. Their fans loved the, the, and the, oh, my ears. It's just awful. And soon they were famous. They toured all around. For everyone loved their magnificent vacuum cleaner. Foghorn. Screaming cake. Sumatra. Is gonna fit. Hi, kids! Hi, Bo! I have a special surprise for you today. My new story has a little of everything. Does it have unicorns on the moon? Well, no. Does it? Have mermaids on the moon. Uh, Cows on the moon. It's not really a moon based store. Does it have bears? Oh, no, not that again. I know it explode. No, no. Okay, it doesn't have everything. <laughs> what I mean is, this is a story about stories. It's called. It's Reptil Storyland. Olé. Okay, I don't know why we went for Spanish, but I really liked it. Had some flavor. <coughs> I've got a magic storybook, said young Samantha Lee. With that, she quickly jumped inside to see what she could see. She gazed at all the wonders there, and who should then approach but the lovely Cinderella in her fancy pumpkin helicopter. Papa Charlie, we're cruising at 10,000 feet. Visibility good, over. <laughs> Oh, well, well, that it, it would get them around faster. Go into the helicopter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, hop in! The princess sweetly said, I'll take you everywhere! Come meet my friend, Rapunzel now! Who's letting down her... Komodo dragon! No, you can't go to the fun fair. Oh, what a letdown. Tangled in that. Gooey. And soon she met Red Riding Robot. <laughs> I'm a robot. With goodies to enjoy. Please enjoy my goodies. <laughs> and Pinocchio, the puppet, who became a real life unicorn. Oh, wait. Uh, does his head grow the horn? Yep. Or does his nose grow the horn? Yep. You're just saying yep to anything I say, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> oh, well, the 
more unicorns, the better. <sighs> unicorn, I love you. Unicorns fly oh. in the sky. Oh. oh, sorry about that. There was Jack, who climbed up. Jack. Ah. That grew from sturdy roots. She met the little mer mouse. And the gown, puss in underpants. <laughs> At last they reached the final page. The princess heaved a sigh and said, It's been delightful, but it's time to say goodbye! Bravo, Sierra Foxtrot. Samantha then jumped out again. It sure was fun, she said. I know I'll be returning soon, but now it's time for... Komodo Dragon! Komodo Dragon Fun Fair! It's a wild day out with the Komodo Dragons! No entry for a dodo! Oh no! It's an exclusive theme park for your pet Komodo! Just off Junction 12 on Route 92. No height restrictions apply. They're Komodo Dragons. Oh, that looks like fun! The end! <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'll be reading Charles Dickens' classic... Goat! Expectations! I expect a goat! Okay, whatever. Hi, kids! Hello! Who here likes outer space? Yeah! Yes! I want to work at NASA when I grow up. Oh, wow, NASA! Have you applied? Um, no, but I sent some blueprints to NASA on how to build a rover. Oh, goodness! And I told them to send it to Pluto. Wow! Well, today's story is a trip to outer space. It's called... Space Explorers. You know, someone should get you a lozenge. That sounded like it hurt your throat. It's almost time! Say Brad and Grace. Hooray! We're, We're off to outer space! Upon their trip, they'll zoom and zip. They climb aboard their rocket. Lemonade stand. Lemonade stand? Ow! Why? You'll get thirsty on the way. You know what? That's a fair point. Okay. Cheers! They count down. Five, four, three, Two, one, then whoosh! They're off for thrills and... Whales. What? No, whales don't live in outer... Space whales! <laughs> space whales from space! Oh, boy! The Adventures of Space Whales! Their continuing mission to work out why they're suddenly in space! Oh... 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 oh. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> That's so... They pass the Sun and Mercury, then Venus, Earth, and Mars. That's me. There's Jupiter and Saturn, too. Uranus, Neptune, now we're through. Oh, no one loves Pluto anymore. Pluto gets a puppy. Oh, oh thanks, guys. Oh. Oh. Pluto's love puppies. They visit planets everywhere in hopes of finding life forms there. They meet Martians. Like, they have a green body and, like, a weird shaped head and, like, tiny little antennas with hearts. And they have a cute little smiley face. And when they say hi, they're like, hi, hi. They're probably, like us, they like to watch TV probably and, well, they have houses and families and, well, they like to play games and draw pictures, just like us. They will destroy Earth. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that last bit. It's time to head back home again. They say goodbye to all their friends. Laser kitties! <laughs> Besides, their fuel is running low. So back to Earth, they quickly jump roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Grace says, Space was such a blast. But now I'm glad we're home at Laser Kitty Island.
Rowan. It was Earth all along! Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. The end! <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Next time, I'll be reading the beloved classic, The Wonderful Wizard of Sauce! I got your mustard, I got your hot sauce. Hey, catch up for the dog. Wizard of Sauce. Oh, that got messy. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Boo. Boo. I, wait, Blurp, what are you doing here? You should be answering kid question 12984B. Blurp. Milkmen. Superheroes! Today's story is called... Super Eddie! Well, it's not the best name. I got a lot of these to do. <clears throat> Eddie made a potent potion in his lab one fateful day. Though it bubbled, boiled, and sputtered, Eddie drank it anyway! Not First that potion, light and busy, made him dizzy. Then at length, he felt a power grow inside him. He developed super... Burps! Burps! Super boobs. <laughs> if we're really gonna run with this, this, make it gross, can we, uh, can we get a little disclaimer, like at the bottom, that this may get gross? Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Super burps. <laughs> His, um, burps could move a locomotive. <laughs> that was one impressive trick. He'd even fight the fiercest chicken. <laughs> and blast through walls of solid librarians. <laughs> what the? The evil doctor! Wedgie pants. Really? Wedgie pants. Now, I am Dr. Wedgie pants. Behold, the Wedgie Pantinator. Ah, get me down! The evil doctor Wedgie pants came to rob the town one day. Oh, no! First, he planned to stun the people with his paralyzing stinky feet. feet. Oh, it just gets worse! Oh, 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 it smells like cheese in a nightmare! Uh, I'm getting a uh, distinct aroma of, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Mm, yes. Okay, that's run its course. <laughs> as soon as he'd unleashed his tootsies, people staggered from the blast! Oh, no! Oh, smells like... But suddenly, the hero, Birdman, <laughs> boldly shouted, Not so fast! Drat, it's you! exclaimed the villain. Scram, or else I'll make you pay. But Birdman simply answered, Blurp! <laughs> and uh, quickly, uh, blew the stink away. Oh, oh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> And so the hero saved the city. That was not the only time. Just listen. When you hear a... You'll know that Birdman's out there, fighting crime. Thank you. Oh, well, that was a gasp. Next time, I'll be reading Jane Austen's timeless classic, Pride and... Predators. Get to the chopper! I need a lie down. Hello, kids! Hi, Hi. Hello! Today, I'll be reading a story about a hard-boiled... Egg! No, I haven't started yet, so that one doesn't count. Okay, this one's about... 
about a hard-boiled detective, so I'm going to have to use my detective voice. A detective has to be very observant and smart Whoa. to find oh, clues behind your luck. and solve a case. It's on your head. It oh, takes intuition and awareness of your surroundings, oh, you a keen eye, eye lightning head. reflexes, and... Hey, where did my hat go? <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's called... The Case of the Cheese Bandit. <coughs> there was trouble on the menu for the famous Chef Louise. Some clever crook had broken in and stolen all her cheese. A cop just scratched his head and shrugged. It's gone without a trace, but it isn't over yet. Detective Boop is on the... Hold on, stay! <laughs> Dramatic entrance. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where was it? Detective, detective voice, detect. <clears throat> the detective didn't talk much, but his skills were all first class. He inspected every surface with his magnifying. Labrador! Oh, oh Labrador? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How can he look through a lab? Magnifying Labrador! Oh! A magnifying Labrador? A mag a mag a maglador? A maglador? Okay. Okay. A la lab lab labrifying glass. Labrifying? What? No, that doesn't that's not a thing. Okay, anyway, detective voice. He continued on his hunt for clues. So much was still unknown. Then he went to search the doghouse, but he only found a deck pack. <laughs> have been the culprit. He began to search her dish. But Chef Louise informed him all the kid it eats is Rhinoceros! Oh, well, I'm not sure I'm that that's going to end well. Anyway, detective voice. But then he spied a crumb of cheese beside a tiny crack. The detective knew exactly who would love that kind of snack. The thief was clearly hiding there, inside that very house. And now at last, the case was solved! The burglar was... Bigfoot! <laughs> of course it was! <laughs> Poor thing, you must be hungry, said Louise. You need a meal. You're welcome to a sandwich if you promise not to steal. Oh, very, very much. Bob. Said Boop, who waved goodbye. He had to leave this place. For a sleuth is always on the move to crack another egg. Bob. Knuckle. Bob. Walnut. Badger. Bob. Okay, all of that. The end. <laughs> Next time, I'll... <coughs> Next time, I'll be reading the classic science fiction adventure, A Wrinkle in Crime. Bob. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Where all the stories? Bop, bop, ba -doop, bop, bop. Oh, hey kids! Hi, Hello. Ever have a day where you just feel like singing? Yeah, yeah. I can sing a story box song. You can? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh no! No, 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 no! You'll get that stuck in my hand. Tiger in the jungle. Tiger in the jungle. Tiger in the jungle. Anyway, I wrote a special singing story for today. It's called... Story Time! The Musical! Please 
please find your seats and silence your cell phones. Recordings of any device are not permitted. The animals on Dalton's farm had tons of talent, wit, and charm. One morning, Pig said, Things are slow. I've got it. Let's put on a show. I love the scent of manure and spring. All I want is to dance and get shot out of a cannon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then came Cow. Her voice was strong. She sang a tender, touching song. I only want some kind to chew. That would be utterly amazing. Someone to milk me when I move. And just a grassy field for Why does this farm have a giraffe? The next to take the stage was Horse. He had a different style, of course. I'm aloof, off the cuff, on the hoof, raising the roof with the truth that legally this ain't even a spoof. What? Hey, yeah, shout what I eat, and here we go. go. Clip, clop, trip, drop, hip hop, and down the street. This jockey! <laughs> Style it in large like dressage A breakdown that's taking a break now we charge Bridle is tight pony trappers Delight grab an apple and bite cause we're having a Water balloon fight Wait, what? Trap pieces fire! <laughs> now no one can sit in front of me That was just, just crazy and loud Fucking roll the day grew late, but soon they'd weep Man. to hear a ballad sung by a cat. <laughs> fish treats. How I'm longing for fish treats. Cause I'm a cat, not a sheep. This is. Bad. Yes, I'm aware. And now the show must end. Said Pig. Sing loud, sing proud, and make it big. I'm a musical ham. I'm a clip clop hip hop horse. I'm a sheep, or maybe a cat. It's hard to know. We got a cow's melodious moo. And a dinosaur. In a crew. We're glad you came. We hope you enjoy our <laughs> Brought down the house. The end. Hey! That was. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Next time, the classic novel of a musical, The Phantom of the Options. Option one or option two, three or four. Okay, drop the curtain. Are you okay? Uh oh, we just got to about that. Oh, he's fine. Anyway, I wrote my own kaiju story. This one is called Monster Battle. Dum 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 dum. Ahem. Yo. 
Yoshi Oshima, who lived in Japan, was out on the beach when the trouble began. The sea started churning way out in the east, and up rose Busagi, a towering bunny. Bunny rabbit. But a kaiju is supposed to be a terrifying huge bunny rabbit. <laughs> Guess it's no weirder than a flying turtle. It headed for Tokyo, and Yoshi now knew that she had to act quickly. But what could he do? He sped down a path in her little red wagon to summon Yogashi, a big friendly cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> These are supposed to be big, tough monsters. How's a cupcake gonna save the city? He's super tough cupcake hero. <laughs> Cupcake hero! Super Cupcake hero! This isn't at all like my movie. On Tokyo, Usagi now stopped down the street. He was hungry and looking for buildings to kiss! <laughs> he climbed up a skyscraper higher and higher, and that's when the creature began breathing! Bunny Rabbit. Cream for that. Hello, kids! Hi, Hi Anyone here like gardening? Gardening is my hobby. Oh, that's right! I think we have a clip, don't we? Can we roll that? Gerald, roll VT! My name is Alif and I'm from Kappa. This is my garden. It's a baby pepper. This is a baby sunflower, and this is basil. Oh, it's back on me! I didn't realize. Oh, I, I was engrossed. Oh, I was also thirsty. <laughs> oh, well, um, today's story is all about a girl's beautiful, elegant flower garden. It's called... Le Jardin de Tiffany. Maybe not quite that. Elegant? Tiffany's garden! Oi oi! Lovely! Better? I guess? Oh, okay. Tiffany King was excited for spring, for the beauty and wonder her garden would bring. She planted her seeds so that sunshine and showers 
would soon help them grow into blossoming hot dogs. Oh, uh, I don't think hot dogs grow like that. But if they could, it would be pretty awesome. I mean, yes, but I don't think that's what she planted. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Let's just keep in mind this is a flower garden, okay? Everybody, please? Okay, okay. You got it, buddy. She tended her garden with all that it needed. She carefully mulched it and frequently weeded. She watered it daily with sprinklers and hoses. Her work was rewarded when up sprang her... Inflatable tube guy! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Right, what's going on here? Oh, sorry. And uh, oh, soon her carnations were blooming like crazy. Now that's more like it. She loved every hyacinth, tulip, and confetti cannon. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> she savored the scent of her ginger. You gross. The best? Yes. Oh, you've oh, you really didn't have to take off uh, <laughs> your socks. <laughs> when, when she looked all around, she was truly an armadillo. Okay, that does it. Uh, Bob, uh, um, give me the book. Wait, <laughs> wait, can she, they, they can do that? What? Uh, Gerald? Ahem. <clears throat> The garden and also the story time room were packed with geraniums, roses in bloom, jasmine that grew in a delicate swirl, petunias and poppies, and I am a girl! Thank you. Oh, wow! Yeah, Tiffany out. Peace! What just... What, <laughs> what the... How did she get a mic? <laughs> Gerald? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> in her garden again, she was cheerful and glad. Her flowers were sweet. And the hot dogs ain't bad. And the story time kids, well, they also felt good. For the story had ended the way that it... Giant mutant hedgehog attack. <laughs> ah, well, it was nice while it lasted. Sorry, Tiffany. The end. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Next time, I'll be reading the classic gothic tale, The Picture of Dorian Gravy. No. Not his best work, but definitely the tastiest. Bravo, Flavin! Agamemnon! Spruce Goose! Huh? Bowl? What are you doing there? It's story time in zero minutes! Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna be a bit late, Hap. I'm stuck in traffic. Hey, I'm piping here. I'm piping here. Wait, Galloping Gridlock! You'll never make it in time! <sighs> There's just one thing to do. Hooray! It's time for Super Silly Stories with Hap. Yada, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it's me. Hey, kids! Uh... Uh, right. You know the drill. I read, you listen, story's gotta rhyme. Everyone goes home happy. Or at least everyone just goes home. Capiche? What's a capiche? No time! Today's story's called Picking, picking Up! Uh, picking picking up. up! Wait, wait, do you do that bit or... Picking... Do I do that bit? Pick no time! Picking a bit! <laughs> What pet should I get? Wondered Annabelle Dunn. A soft kind that purrs would be oodles of fun. Uh, the kind that's so cute when she naps on a mat. I'm thinking of getting a sweet, cuddly fox. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing? I'm going right above me. Quick, stop dealing, Alien. <laughs> right now. It can't be about. What'd I just say, kid? Stop dilly-dallying! It can't be a bat. Story's supposed to rhyme. Oh, wait, that does rhyme. Hmm. But, uh, who ever heard of a pet bat? Bats are awesome, and they can fly a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, no time to argue. You ain't, kid, it's a bat. Yeah, 
And also, um... Yes? And also... What? And also... Yep. And also, when... Yeah. And also, um, well, I think that's it. Stop dilly-dallying! <laughs> ah, I lost my place. <laughs> oh, where was I? That was bad. Okay, there. But then she said, maybe a pet that would bark. Okay, listen up, kids. This is an easy one. I'd feed him and take him for walks in the park. He'd chase after sticks, and we'd go for a jog. I'd like it a lot if my pet were a... Log. <laughs> what? That's not even an animal! It runs! What? Oh, but, uh, it's a running, barking log. Fine, 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 fine. Makes total sense. <laughs> oh, how does Bo do this? I should give her a raise. Nah. She thought of a hamster that ran on a wheel. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a hamster. There's no time for age-inappropriate reference humor! Uh, sir, I need your signature on form TK421. Iguana! <laughs> That's not part of the story! Iguana! Iguana! I can't take any more of this! Which pet was the best one? She still didn't know! The sounding was hard, and the going was... Bo! Bo! Hello, kids! Oh, oh Bo! It's about time you showed up! This story's off the rails! It's bonkers! Bananas! Bewildering! Bamboozling! Discombobulating! Yeah, that's what they do. Kids, how's it been going so far? He's really grumpy. What? I'm not! He's <sighs> angry. What? I got a lot on my plate, kid! Because he asked so many questions! Well, there are so many questions! He's always yelling oh, just not to dilly-dally. Stop all this dilly-dallying! <gasps> oh, Hap, I still love you. Want me to take over, boss? Yes, Reed! What are you waiting for? Finish the story! Oh, okay. Go! Um, let's see. She thought of a turtle, a gerbil, a flying monkey! A flying monkey! Ah, oh, there's a flying monkey coming! Coming from above me! Ah, ah. You see? That's what I'm talking about! It's a. Uh, uh, it's a. Uh, uh. Oh, well, it, it is kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> His little hat. <laughs> That's cute. She might get. Whoa, whoa! This is my turn. Uh, a woolly mammoth. No, no, no. Uh, a giant slug. No, no. A chupacabra. Chupacabra. A cyclops. Um. Bob. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, something funnier. Uh, something crazy. Uh, yeah, something really messed up. Um, Hap, don't you have some work to do? <gasps> oh my gosh! What am I doing? I just dilly dallied. See what you kids made me do? I got phones to answer and work to do! Gotta go! Bye! Work! 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 Well, we're, uh, kinda out of time, so... She... she went with the cat, and that was that! The end! Yay! Yeah! I hope we go on Netflix! Next time, I'll be reading that beloved Frontier classic, Little House on the... Market. Um, it's a bit small. No one knows for sure what dinosaur he cannot eat. Wow, you sure do know a lot of facts. Yeah, because I have the biggest brain of all humans. Oh. Look at my head. Do you notice anything that's very big of it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. it's really big. That means you can hold a big brain in it. Gosh. Anyway. Did you know uh, did, that did, 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 Excuse me, pardon me. Do you still want to hear this story? <laughs> Kinda. Okay, today's story is called... Doo -doo -doo -doo! Birthday Bash. A little enthusiasm, please. Ah! Right. Ah, mediocre. <clears throat> At last, it's my birthday. Hooray, Central Rome. I'm having a party right here in my home. It's a 
water park. Yeah! Oh! And there's water slides and, and there's a giant tower. I mean, a pool party would be fun. And has a brown, brown pool. Yeah. That doesn't sound very... It's made of coffee. Oh, thank goodness. I got a skinny ice latte for a Flannery. Yeah, I think we maybe just stick to regular water for now. Cause, uh, that looks gross. He invited his friends for a swim and a dive. Then the party got started, and guess who arrived? The Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> That's the king of the dinosaurs with teeth as big as bananas. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, well, you know, I feel like we've been That's doing... big, right? That is big, uh, yes, but uh, I kind of feel like we've been doing a lot of dinosaurs in these stories. Could we maybe change it to something just a little bit different? The Loch Ness Monster. Oh, totally different. <laughs> That's not a dinosaur. It's marine reptile. Yep. Okay. Then you know. Okay, moving on. It was time for some games. Now Jerome did not peek as he counted to ten, and they played... Bingo! Bingo? Bingo! Bingo! Bingo? Bingo! 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 Um, hides and... Um, it's hides and... Yes? It's hides and... Give me another word. Hovercrafts. Yep. Hide and hovercrafts? <laughs> well, what do you do with a hovercraft? Hi, hovercraft. Take me to find treasure. Well, okay. No, wait. On an island. That, that wasn't what I... We dig it up from the sand. No, wait. Uh, I'll go back up. Thank you, hovercraft. <laughs> You're welcome. Can we get back to the party, please? What fun, said Jerome. But it's time for a break. I hope you're all hungry, cause here comes the toast. Toast. A anything, anything on it? Nope. Just dry toast. I have to be honest, this is not the best birthday. I think we should probably wrap this up. Wait, wait, um, not yet. One more thing. Oh, okay. It's late, said Jerome. Wow, the time really flew. But before you all go, there's one, one more thing to do. Um, let me see. Oh, I know. I got a big bang. Okay, go ahead. Dad, you know. Oh, boy. Dad, you know I have a new dance. Oh, actually, that's perfect. It's the dino dance. Had a feeling it would be. Yeah, would you like to see it? Absolutely! Oh, wow! Then we do Catacola! Let's rock! Catacola? Is that a part of the dance? That is a part of the dance. Yeah. Okay! They danced the dino dance! Catacola! Catacola! And then said their goodbyes! Oh. Jerome said, It's awesome! To be turning 97. And my mom got me a new hip. Yakado! You can't tell me the size of your plane if you know. Well, I think it's about twice the size after meeting you today. <laughs> That's rough. Next time, I'll be reading the classic fairy tale, Beauty and the Beans. <laughs> well, at least she'll get her fiber. now. Yeah. That's a great answer! And non-copyright infringing. And um, mine's the same as his. Perfect! Well, for this week's story, I made up my own video game. It's called... Lollipop Mountain. An enchantingly enchanting game of enchantment. Let's -a go! Installing update. Please wait. Oh! Every time! 
Please wait. Please wait. Play. Please wait. Please wait. So. Please wait. Anyone? Please wait. Come. Please wait. Seen any good? Please wait. Please wait. Netflix shows like update installed. Oh, oh, never mind. Let's restart. Required. Oh, forget it. This is the hero, the star of the game. She's a unicorn princess, and Fluff is her name. <laughs> when she drinks from the magical starberry fountain, she leaps to the summit of Lollipop Racetrack. Ah! Oh! Yeah, we uh, we like race each other. Uh, okay, okay, just need to do a little recoding. Open the Unix system. What rabbit object? Okay. Rock is ahead at the start. Stop dilly dallying! A driver goes uh, as she zips past his cart. She fires off a zero. <laughs> With a zoom, zig and zag, she crosses the finish line. Down comes the giant rock monster. A what? A giant? Giant rock monster! Oh, oh my goodness! Well, that's gonna need some more reprogramming. L R four two seven virus C D E F. Let's add some equipment and a tunic. Oh, what color should the tunic be? Green. Probably should avoid that legally. Purple and pink and yellow. Perfect! The monster is huge and surprisingly queer, but Fluff drives it back with her magical stick! <laughs> okay, call it down! Okay, calm down, calm down! She keeps herself safe with her magical castle. Oh, and it's a building game, okay? A castle where there's no dragons coming in. No dragons! Oh. Check! Yeah, but then there was a lot of dragons coming in. Wait! What? But you just said that there were no- We tried everything we could to make the dragon stop, but they wouldn't. Oh no! What do we do? Well, we made a stronger door. <laughs> and they came in. We put food out for them and- We put food out for them? <laughs> They came in, and I don't really know what to do to make dragons not into a castle. I feel like the food might have been a mistake. <laughs> but maybe when it's done, it would say, More please! More <laughs> please! Oh. oh my! Alright, I better code our way out of this! Fluff cannot stop now! There's a tower to defend! She beats back the dragons and reaches the... Attack! What? No, I have no idea what we said either. Hmm. She reaches the... Lollipop Mountain! Thank you! The game has been fun, full of giggles and grins! It's Lollipop Mountain, where everyone... Skateboard! Great! Perfect. I'm sure you can't have blocked! The end! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness! Oh, well, we should play that again soon! How about next week? Maybe not that soon. Okay, next time I'll be reading Jules Verne's classic adventure, 20,000... Pigs? Under the Sea. <laughs> oh, that's just hogwash! <laughs> There's a lot of you for this one. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure it won't descend into chaos. Today's story is called... The Robot Hero. A young inventor.
inventor known as Max was very smart and clever. You're very clever. One day he said, I'm gonna build the biggest robot ever! Maybe about this big. I think it needs to be a little bigger than that. Bit bigger? Bit bigger? Let's just say it's really big, okay? Oh, what's it look like? Oh, it has ears. Right. And the nose helps to smell underwater. Of course, all those underwater smells. He painted it a bright, bright red, as shiny as could be. At last, it's done, he cried. Your name is Robot XY? Uncle Dennis. Ro Robot XY Uncle Dennis? Well, I don't think a robot's name would be... Activate Robot XY Uncle Dennis! I guess that answer's that. But Max and Robot... Uh, uh, Uncle Dennis then heard a rumbling sound. Ah! They'd attracted fearsome monsters who had come from all around. Oh, I know. So my favorite monster is like Nessie because um, in 1982 it was alive. It was? And, and it was in Scotland. What? Its middle name was the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, that was his middle name? Well. So when it was born, it ate fishing sharks. Oh. Uh, and even in one gulp, it can uh -huh. eat one million sharks. Oh, I'll get seconds. So back to the- And there is this thing called Bigfoot. Ah! Can we he get... lives in the Northwest United States um, to... off okay. where nobody goes and there is a sign that says, do not enter danger. Uh -huh. And if a explorer gets there, I wanted to for tell... a blink of an eye, they're gone. Ah! And then uh -huh. what Bigfoot does, uh -huh. he, he, he slams you on his table. Uh -huh. And then, Can we get... and then, You're still going. Um, he has items, the people he caught, like, you know, he got. Wow. And then he finds, like, you know, this little chemical dart. Uh -huh. And it's, and it's, and it's, Called the venom. The, the venom. <sighs> so, to summarize, the bad guy monsters are Nessie and Bigfoot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanna be a bad guy. You wanna be a bad guy? Yep. Spiky dinosaur? I'll get my special spiky dinosaur! Oh my! And I will throw them into the air. Ah! Well, I kind of need the bad guys to be defeated by this point. That Nessie story took a really long time. And you wave around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. The robot can transform into a giant dot T Rex and just. and beat it. No, 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 no. No! It would use its horns to poke through the robot. <laughs> Hang on. This, yes. this spikes can come yes. out of the ground. The battle just went on and on. A robot dog comes in. No one's giving in. And then a magic eyeball appears on your hand. Uh, and Max and Uncle Dennis didn't know how they could win. I mean, I'm serious. I really don't know how to resolve this one, kids. Uh, oh, I know. Go on. I got married. You got married? Isn't that silly and weird? Yes, yes it is. You got married? I got married. To, to 
the robot or to the Loch Ness monster? Everybody's married. I do. I do. But, but weren't you all just fighting? It's not like a real fight. This is just a game. Well, that would be a happy ending, I guess. They all got married, oh. and why not? They foiled the monster menace. The bad guy, Nessie, Bigfoot, Rex, and Robot. I'm going to oh, the best. Best. Well, I want to tell you something, Storybox. Yes? I have a baby. Okay, that can be the sequel. The end! Next time, I'll be reading that classic children's novel about a robot. The Iron... Manatee. Super Manatee. Okay, I'm calling tech support. <laughs> you play sports? Yes, I, like I do. Yeah. I love to do gymnastics. Oh, I think we have a video of that. Gerald, can you run, VT? You got it, Bo. Layton, what is your favorite thing in the whole wide world? Gymnastics. Wow, that's so impressive. I wonder if I could do the splits. <laughs> no. Today's story is all about a, a really cool sports game I once saw. <gasps> it's called... Sports Ball! Goal! Can someone please help me up? <gasps> I remember it like it was yesterday. Reporting live from Storybot Stadium, commentator Bo! It's a beautiful day, not a hint of a cloud. The fans are excited. Just look at that crowd. But which team will win today? Who'll wear the crown? Here at Storybot Stadium, in the heart of the... Uh, nobody knows. What? Wait a second, nobody knows where the stadium is? Nobody knows where it is. It's hidden somewhere in, in, in Michigan. What? Uh, yeah. We're really getting off track early here. Let's just say people look it up on the computer where it is, uh, okay? Um, 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 but, 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 um, you can't look it up because, um, uh, the people who, like, made it there, they forgot to, like, put on the website. I don't really remember it happening this way, though. Uh, even travelers try to find it, but they can't. Instead, they end up in, uh-huh, uh, uh -huh. At home. Why? No. So what you're saying is it's an empty stadium. Yeah. Oh boy. It's newts versus hedgehogs. The tension is thick. The newts win the coin toss, and here comes the donut. Oh. oh. I love donuts. What? They're kicking a donut instead of a ball! I've never seen anything like it at all! But Patterson has it well under control. He shoots it to Chavez, who goes for the world's fastest guinea pig. The world's fastest guinea pig now in the game! But a trash can. His moves that'll put him to shame. A trash can! And look, it's trash talk in the elf! It's out of the game and it's off to the dump! Now both teams have... <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, yes? Yetis! Oh, that was so polite. Okay, sure. And robot! Well, a tiger. Pink? A gorilla! Uh, butterflies! Uh, well, with laser guns! Okay, 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 okay. Both teams have yetis and robots and pink and butterflies with laser cannons and a gorilla and more. But the hedgehogs are really behind in the score. The newts are... Just waving their arms around.
just go. There's the ball. It's just right there. Just hit it. He takes his best shot, and it's nothing but ball. <laughs> My Gardner, you rarely see moments like these. The ref says it's good. Whoa, the announcer agrees. The buzzer goes off, and the game is now done. The fans go bananas. The home team has won. What do you win? Well, a oh. donut. Well, that would fit. And they and they put unicorn powder in it. Oh, now you got my attention. What a prize! Stay tuned for Sports Ball of the Day for hours of meaningless chat. You know, it's funny, that's not at all how I remember the game. Oh well, the end! Bye! Bye. Thank you. Bye. Next time, I'll be reading everyone's favorite, The Little Engine That... Couldn't be bothered. Oh yeah, I'm totally blowing this off. Huh, I guess I'll be taking the bus. Hello! Hi, Bo! Who here likes building things? Yes! All of the time. I can build blocks. Oh! And I can make a big tower that I can live in. Oh, gosh! That is impressive! What's in the tower? Probably, um, mm -hmm. a, um, little water park that has a pool. Wow! And a giant slide. Oh! And it also has a bar in the, in the um, pool. I'm not sure that should be there. Um, there is a little playground. And... Oh, a playground! Oh, God. You know what? I've got a story about a playground. And the group of can-do construction machines who decide to build it. It's called... Construction Zone! What? Construction was a dump truck, and she led a rugged crew. There was Dusty Dave the dozer. There was Biff the backhoe, too. She showed her team a blueprint and explained, I've made a mark where we're going to build a playground in the middle of the... Storytime room. What? Coming Wait! Oh, I didn't know the playground would be quite this close. What? Uh, uh, Dave the dozer went to work and leveled out the ground. Then Darla hauled the ass. So now the lot was well prepared. Oh, oh, the playground thing. Heads up. Oh. 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 The crew worked hard together, and they soon installed the roller coaster. Oh. oh my goodness! I hope nobody. <laughs> Never mind. Then the mixer made cement with powder and some water, then poured a strong foundation that would hold the teeter airplane. An airplane? An airplane in the airport, of course. Of course. Back up. Back up. Uh, 747 APD, you are clear for takeoff. You think I could get a peek at those plants? Ah! 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 They soon put in a... Minotaur. A minotaur? Like, from ancient Greece? Yeah. Wow, well, they soon put in a minotaur. The kids would love to ride. I know a hero that comes from Greece, too. Do you know him? I mean, probably not personally. Hercules. This feels like we're going off on a tangent. The king was angry, and he gave him difficult dimensions. Uh -huh. But he completed all of them. <laughs> Well, that's impressive. He was so strong that he could kill even bad animals. I'm not sure that's the best way to measure performance. Yes, he defeated only the bad people, not the good people. Uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, so Hercules is in the playground too? Yes. Ah. Whee, Hercules. Ah. Uh, the playground wouldn't be complete without an awesome space station. Woo! Oh, they built a train station. Pirate ship zoo. It's the the golden kids. Mount Rushmore. Great Wall of China. Kids! I don't think the room can hold any 
anymore. Amazing job, said Darla then. At last, our work is done. We've built an awesome playground where the kids can all have... A new story time room. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow, they even vacuumed. The end! Thank you. Bye. Bye. Next time, the beloved classic, The Wind in the... Story Time Room. Imagine how much fun time travel could be? I would like to time travel to the future. Oh! Because I know there's going to be super cool technology. Oh! And I lo love it! Because I'm really like a technology girl. Wow! What would you travel through time and find out? What, what was the first cake's name? All the age-old mysteries of time! Maybe it was strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, blueberry? You know, maybe in the future, someone will invent a time machine, and... Oh my! Who are you? I'm you, from the future! I know everything that's gonna happen here because I've already seen it! In one second, someone's gonna announce the title! A Journey Through Time! That always happens! I knew you were gonna say that! Oh, the end! What? Trust me! Next time I'll be uh... reading... Okay, well, let's get to the story. <laughs> Jenny Fujita and Billy McNabb invented a time machine down in their lab. Do you want me to draw it for you? Oh, yes, please. So, let's see. I would call it Jungle Mobile 2.0. Yeah? Okay. Huh. Oh, and let's put some balloons so the balloons help it fly. Ooh, good thinking. But it also has confetti on it. Confetti? Confetti. Sure. This is what it should look like. Wow! Well, we have to use that. <gasps> they zip through the ages without the least hassle. Ah! Ah! Oh, this is lovely. Hi, welcome to Atlantis. Ah! And soon they drop down in a beautiful... I started a pizza for dinner, said Bear. But I looked for my toppings and... <laughs> oh! I'm okay. Where are we? We appear to have traveled back into episode one. What primitive creatures. Bear. Okay, this is all getting too meta. Where to next? I really want to see the future. Okay. In the future, they saw people flying in cars. Afternoon. Hiya. There was... Me riding a unicorn. I'm Sparkle. I mean, that doesn't really fit, but unicorns, so I'll allow it. Thank you. Are you time traveling too? That would be fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> because I would look when Marie Curie was there. Marie Curie? The 19th century Polish French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity? Yes. <gasps> She's like my favorite scientist. Well, I guess you could meet Marie Curie. Ah, uh, I am Marie Curie. Bonjour. Ah, uh, how are things? I'm great, Marie Curie. How are you? I am super awesome. Do you want to uh, hang out and stuff? That sounds nice. I am just doing some pioneering research on radioactivity. Can I help you? Sure thing. Yay! It would be great, because she would also teach me about science. Oh, these are the dogs for me. Nobel Prize fight! Hooray! We just developed mobile radiography units! Okay, back to the story. Okay, I hope to meet you soon again. Stay in school! I've completely forgotten what the story was about. Oh yeah, time travel! Oh, it was time to head back, though the future was pleasant. They waved to themselves on their way to the present. 
What fun! Billy said. We've had thrills, we've had grins, but it sure will be nice to be home with our... Back to the start! What? Oh my! Who are you? Oh, I'm you from the future! I know everything that's gonna happen here because I've already seen it! In one second, someone's gonna announce the title! A journey through time! That always happens! I knew you were gonna say that! Oh, the end! What? Trust me! Next time I'll be reading the classic time travel novel, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's... Horse! 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 <laughs> oh, uh, huh. excuse me. <laughs> okay, time out! Hello, kids! Hello! Hello! How are we all doing today? <laughs> I'm excited, because today's story is called... The Very Hungry Troll! Oh. Shout out over the title? I mean, there's nowhere for a troll to appear. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? No. <laughs> oh, have story? Um, yes? Mm, we like stories. Hey, mm, what the? Mm. Uh, Satisfying read. Eat the story. You're a part of the story. Mm, me have existential crisis. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, we need a new story. <laughs> okay, kids. Uh, change of plans. Today's story is called the story that Bo's making up right now. <gasps> the story <gasps> that Bo <gasps> is making up <gasps> right now. Bo had a very nice story to read. But it got eaten, which shocked her indeed. She, uh, uh, she decided she'd just have to write one again. So she ran to Hep's desk to, uh, <gasps> borrow a, a swan. <laughs> oh, 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 you're not making this any easier. Oh, what are you doing here? It's story time, not dilly dally time. Move, get back to work. Sorry, Read, uh, run, go, stories by. She looked all around. For a good place to uh, write, an office was empty, so she turned on the laser show. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> she ran down the hall, past some kids on some screens. Hi, kids! Hi. Then she nearly ran into the fun fact. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Did you know that gorillas like to eat bananas? Oh, I can't stop! Story in progress! Okay, she ran past the guy who delivers the mail. Hi, Bo. Then entered the lunchroom, where... Sup! ...were for sale. You, you, you do mean submarine sandwiches, right? A submarine! This doesn't look like Havana. Why did I even ask? <laughs> to finish her story, she'd have to have quiet. A transport tube opened. She thought she would try it. She punched in a code for a peaceful cafe. The machine started up, and it whisked her to a car horn factory. Back to HQ! Back to HQ! Go! What are you doing here again? Oh. Go! Breathe! Ride! Educate! Inform! Entertain! Oh, it's just about over, but how? Just say the word, as you kids often do. If the ending is happy, I'll be happy. On a beach. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. You know, the only thing that could make this ending happier is... Unicorn. Unicorn! Oh, you guys are the best. The end. <laughs> What you did there. Okay, I like I can get used to this. <sighs> Next time, Shakespeare's classic play, All's Well That Ends. Tidal Waves! <laughs> oh.
Oh, bravo! 